Hello, I'm Jason Torchinski with Jalopnik, and I'm here talking with... Chris Harris, nice to see you. <laughs> Rory Reid from Top Gear. Um, this is Chris Harris, formerly writer for Jalopnik, now being interviewed for Jalopnik. Feels a bit weird. So I'm just going to ask you some questions. Uh, okay. Does it ever creep you out when uh, the ghost of James May appears in the set, like I'm told he sometimes does? Is it creepy? <laughs> I've never seen it personally. Really? No, no. Yeah. He's not dead. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that works either. That's what I heard. Jimmy. James, you here? Do you guys have a policy in place now for punching people when your food's not on time? Next question. All right. Have they finally codified that so there's no more unpleasantness? Because <laughs> it would just be nice to know what you're what you're allowed to do. Well, we put out a memo. Yeah. About you know if the food's not on time, you get punched. Sure. Yeah. So the food is always See, on time. So we great. haven't but we haven't had to cross that now. bridge right. yet. It's no longer a big deal if everybody knows there's a punching involved. Okay. Uh, what was your first car? My first car was a 1984 Nissan Sport Truck. As uh, I think it was a 78 Ford Fiesta. It's a Mini, not a Mini. A Mini. All right. If each of you were a car, what would you guys be? Rory would be some type of flashy Rolls Royce. A 1990 ZR1. You know the first ZR1 they did. Yes. With yeah, the yeah, second yeah. key. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what right. Rory. I think Rory would like to be that, and I can allow him to be that now. No, I'm easy. I, again. I love electric cars, so. You would be an electric car? I think I think it would be the Model X. Yeah. Really? I'm, okay. a, I'm obsessed with that thing, yeah, genuinely. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. All right. People hate the look of it, but I think no, it's beautiful. No, I actually, I like the look of it. I think yeah. it's kind of fun. Harris would be an old BMW, probably. He'd like to say an old Ferrari, but he'd be an old BMW. Harris, I would say, um, this thing behind me, this Alpha, yep. the Julia. I'm probably that Julia there, that Alpha. So on oh, my yeah. day, on my day, I'm quite competent. Yes. But if you if you really look closely, <laughs> I'm riddled with faults. <laughs> For Matt, it would have to be a 911R. Oh yeah. That's him all over. Matt, strangely enough, isn't. He's not that sort of cliched American car thing. That's a he's big an, he's, a, he's, a, he's a 991 Turbo S. That's what Matt really? is. Really? Yeah, he is. That's him. <laughs> and I'd probably be. A dually. If you could have any car in the world, any in anyone in the world at all, would you let me eat in it? Um. <laughs> yes, absolutely. You would? Okay, absolutely. that's fantastic. Absolutely. I'd have a problem with you eating in your own car, first of all. <laughs> Maybe not curry. No, okay, that's fine. You know, Nothing that stains. Like, what if I have like a sandwich? That's no problem, man. If I come into your car with the, a taco, no way. <laughs> I get in my car. Yeah, with I got a taco. you. Okay. The interior of my car aren't that clean. Right. Everything's used. Chris Harris would eat in any car and he's That's, a slob. That, all right. he, when I get press cars from the manufacturers. Right. Well, I don't think know. Rory owns a car. He borrows cars. <laughs> yes. I, I'll happily let you sit in it. Oh, I'll happily arrange the insurance for you to drive it. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with people sharing cars because wow. I want to see their reaction. What a saintly man. That's a fantastic yeah. thing. And plus it's not mine, so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what is this hypothetical? You could have any car. You should know the answer to this. It changes on an hourly basis. The okay, the dream car is a Chevy Corvette C3 Stingray, oh, really? okay. probably 78, 17, yeah, no, yeah. sorry, 68, um, before yeah. they ruined it. Today, yeah, this moment. it's a 1974 3 liter RS 911. I, I've always had a passion for the McLaren F1. Middle of the night, F40. Great. I wake up sometimes and I go, oh, it's got to be a Mahari. What's the stupidest thing you ever did in a car? After the King of the Hammers film, several times on the film apparently I go, that's the most stupid thing we've done in a car. All right, that's Answers pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um, that would be probably illegal, so I'm not going to say that. I drove through a park in my truck one time, up because it had this hill, and there's a road up here and a road down here. Yeah. And I thought, look at that hill climb, I bet you I can make it. So I put it four wheel low, up to the top, right back onto the road. And right when I got onto the road, I realized, I had pulled right behind a parked police car who had <laughs> witnessed the whole thing and yeah. I got a massive ticket. First day on the Top Gear job, the director goes, uh, Rory, jump in that Mustang and just drift around this, this corner here. Right. And I'm like, yeah, no problem. <laughs> um, <laughs> then I look at the, to, to the left of me, there's a, a sheer drop off a mountain. <laughs> to the right of me, there's a, a, a you know, a rock. And I'm like, it's not okay. Yeah. okay, this is the first day of shooting. Yeah. First day on Top Gear. I can do this. Yeah. Turns out I couldn't do it. Are you going to get to drive any Lamborghinis on the show? Because I know. Uh, I don't. Uh, do you know what? I did drive a Lamborghini. Yeah. On the show. You did. So you very broke briefly. The streak. No, very very briefly. Yeah. I'm not sure they know about it. Okay. If you could anthropomorphize any car, uh, which car would you pick for your roommate? Question. <laughs> you know, a lot of times in these interviews, you get asked the same question. I see. That was my goal. Go, I did not want to yeah. do that. Yeah. <laughs> What's pretty? 
Is that the criteria? I would pick uh, maybe an F-250 pickup. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. That's someone who could help you out with you. Help yeah, you yeah, out, yeah. You know, help me hang this TV on the Exactly, wall. I mean, yeah, the F-250. I gotta run down to the Absolutely. Costco. Right, he's, he's gonna be there. Help you move the couch, all that yeah. stuff. For a laugh, maybe the Jaguar e -type. Okay, last question. You know the uh, Mary f Kill game? You know, we're like, you, no. so, we, so we're gonna give you three cars and you tell me which one to marry, which one you're gonna bone, okay. which one you're gonna kill. All right. Uh, Renault 4. Yeah. Um, Plymouth Prowler. Yeah. And let's say a um, Vauxhall Astra. An AMC Gremlin. Uh, kill. So Allegro, Beetle, Allegro. and what was the other one I said? Oh, a 2002. All right, let's just do like a, like a W, you know, like the standard Mercedes wagon, the diesel, diesel Mercedes wagon, okay. Okay, mid 80s. Yeah. And then um, last car, let's do a uh, Mustang Mach 1. I kill the Prowler because I just don't get it. Never okay. have done. <laughs> right. Um, I would definitely bone the four. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Astra's dependable, that's fine. Not, I feel like the Pacer gets a unfair. It was, just uh, hideous, they were trying so. something. You know, it was originally supposed to, this is crazy, so. We've got to wrap uh, but this is Pacer, not. <laughs> Marry the 2002. Okay. Gorgeous. Yeah. Um, shag the Beetle. Okay. Yeah. Kill the Allegro. Allegro definitely. Okay. Yeah. So you marry the, the Mercedes wagon, yeah, you fuck the Mustang, and yeah. you definitely kill the Gremlin. <laughs> All right. That was pretty easy in hindsight. It's yeah, true. you didn't make that pretty no, easy. No, I didn't. All right, look, this has been a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. I love Jalop. Look, Matt, this was fun. Awesome. Thank you so Thank much. You I appreciate it. Thank you so much. It. And again, big fan. Thank I you. I appreciate that. All right, look, Rory, this has been a real pleasure. No. Thanks so much for being a good sport. Pleasure is all mine. Thank you. And uh, yeah, we'll be watching you on TV. All right, take care, guys. If you want a cat, if you want a cat, call me. <laughs> That cat is yours. <laughs> All, if you gave that cat away, that just means a longer way it's going to travel back.